Hey guys, and welcome back to a, another free plugin Friday where we look at free plugins you can use in your productions. So today we're going to be looking at two different plugins in two different videos. So this is going to be the first video. The second video will either come out today or tomorrow. We'll, we'll see how we go. But they're kind of a pair of plugins and there's Analog Obsession Fet Snap and Analog Obsession Fet Drive. So they kind of work together in that they're both based off 1176 style circuits, but one's a transient designer and one is a drive saturation plugin based off the kind of architecture of 1176. So we are going to first look at FetSnap in this video and once you're done here, go check out the other video in Fet Drive. Now before we start, I would like to ask you to please like this video and subscribe. I have noticed I've gotten a lot of views lately from non-subscribers and thanks to all the subscribers that are watching, but a lot of people are stumbling onto the videos not subscribed and it really just helps get videos into the algorithm. If you don't hit a number of views, no one outside of my subscribers sees any of the videos. They really don't get any traction. And it kind of kind of gets a bit sad when you know you got like 70 views on a video. So please subscribe if you do like my videos and you do like Free Plugin Friday and Hopefully, as we roll into November and December, there's going to be a lot more content coming out. So let's just jump into this quickly now and kind of talk about it. So like I said, it's a transient designer. It's got a mix control. Great. It's got a tone and it's got the amount of snap and of course, output. And you can turn it off on in there and you've got oversampling like a lot of the new Analog Obsession plugins up here. So we're just going to put it on some drum stuff. I've got some drums in this track which are sounding kind of meh. They're not really mixed at all. They're straight out of BFD and I feel like they're good kind of uh, example of what you might use a transient designer on. So first I've got it on a mix of the kick channels. So let's start off with that. It's uh, yeah set on the kick. So let's listen to the kick with it off. There's a bit of snare bleed in there, intentional from BFD to try and get that sound. Okay, so let's turn it on. And add some more snap, I guess. You gotta be careful with transient designers because you're really increasing the peak. You notice there it went into the red and it probably clipped the output there on the ladder things. Because what you're doing as you get more snap is the differences between the transients are much greater. So let's go to less snap again, bring that up. Seems like a tilt control. Um, I'm just going to go back here. There's a little bit of a... Um, fade out there. It does feel like a tilt control. You go down more, you're losing a bit of that high end, but you're getting a bit more thump. Up here, you're thinning it out. Let's just uh, loop this section here, this first section. This is in DB, which is really cool. So you're getting more and more kind of that difference and you can mix it back in. Now, less is the same amount. It would be cool to have opposite snap, but I guess you could use an 1176 compressor to do that. For and after. Now we're gonna feed this into a compressor. So let's uh, let's get um, Fetish up, which is the compressor by Analog Obsession. So I'm really compressing it. If you're pushing it into a compressor, you could obviously get some interesting ways it works. Uh, 
right, let's turn that compressor off. Okay, so that's it on the kick. Now the kick doesn't really need snap. It actually needs a lot of compression to kind of sit together. Um, so, but if you, you've got a recorded kick that needs a little bit more dynamics coming out of it. So let's have a look at um, the snare. Same thing, it's just a blend of the channels. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is just push the compression up a little bit. So you can hear what, you know, if you've got an over compressed now or something, what you can do. So let's um, bring that all back. Really getting that smack. So if your snare is lacking snap, if you don't have that kind of hard transient at the beginning, you could use something like this and then blend it in. So this is the whole drum kit. Toms are a bit loud, let's turn them down. So that smack's coming back now. So you get the idea, you could really use it on loops too. The loops are a bit muddy or something, you just want to get a little more snap. So we might do that on the hip hop loop and have a look at that. Okay, so now we've got this um, hip hop drum loop. Let's see what we can do with that, see if we can get it to um, kind of get something weird out of it. Just got some filtering on it. I'll just solo it. Again, really easy to clip. Automatic gain compensation would be great here. Give us this really cool, weird kind of feel. Completely changes the dynamics. Okay, what about something that doesn't have as much dynamics like bass? So I'm just gonna go find the bass. It's somewhere in here. Um, bass, bass, bass. Here we go. Let's just solo this bit of the bass. Let's get a little snappy. Starts to distort. It's cool. Probably distorting OTT, yep, so I'll turn OTT off and have a listen. Oh, and interestingly it distorts in the middle there, but if we go further up it distorts less. Definitely gives it something interesting. Let's play that with the drums. It's gonna turn up a little bit.
So that has been FetSnap. Now it's a kind of specialized plugin. I probably haven't shown its best kind of scenarios here. I'm just trying transient sources and just, just hearing what it does. So it's going to be something you're going to use in every mix. It's not like a normal transient designer where you kind of got control over attack and release and you kind of really want to design it. I use transient designs a lot on drums just to give a bit more sustain or like when it's a bit muddy or cut through or something. This is more just this aggressive like snappiness that comes with this like aggression in the transient and this huge like transients that it brings in. Um, but but kind of cool. It's definitely something where you could use it. I, I'm imagining really muddy guitars or like something that's been over compressed like if you if you've got something and when they've compressed it a lot coming in and you've just lost a little bit of attack you can just bring that in a bit so that has been fet snap now go to the other video if you want to see fet drive because we're going to be releasing that when that comes out too so thank you for watching and i will see you in the other video mm -hmm.